This is the Monday weather briefing for August 19th, 2013. My name is Greg Cook and I am the forecaster with the National Weather Service office in Spokane, Washington. Forecasts are subject to change, so please check our website periodically this week for the most updated weather forecast. Temperatures for the next week are going to be near average for mid to late August. Our biggest concern for the next seven or next 10 days will be the potential for thunderstorms from Thursday through early next week. Monday through Wednesday will be warm and dry. Thursday and Friday we will be monitoring the potential for thunderstorms over Idaho and far eastern Washington. The threat for thunderstorms will expand into central Washington over the weekend. From late Saturday night through early next week, it appears that there will be the potential for thunderstorms for the majority of the inland northwest. Through Wednesday, the weather pattern over the Pacific Northwest will promote dry and warm weather. The jet stream, depicted by the purple arrow here, will remain north of the Canadian border. A low pressure system will remain off the California coast during this time. Thunderstorms associated with this low will remain well south of the inland northwest through the mid part of the week. Our weather pattern will begin to change Thursday into Friday. The jet stream will begin to dip southward off the coast of Washington. The low pressure system off the California coast will lift northward into Oregon by late in the day Thursday. Chances for thunderstorms will increase over Oregon, Idaho, and the eastern third of Washington during this time. Here are a few more specifics for Thursday and Friday. At this time, our best shot of thunderstorms appears to be Thursday evening through Friday morning. Widely scattered thunderstorms will be possible across the Idaho Panhandle and the eastern third of Washington. Our greatest concern Thursday night into Friday morning will be the potential for lightning. Gusty thunderstorm outflow and hail is a secondary concern along with the potential for brief heavy rain. The National Weather Service office in Pendleton, Oregon has issued a fire weather watch for a large portion of central and eastern Oregon for, the, for lightning Thursday morning through Friday afternoon. The fire weather watch also extends into as far north as the Blue Mountains in southeast Washington as depicted by this tan color here. Watches and warnings may be expanded northward during the next few days as we gain confidence regarding the potential for lightning Thursday into the weekend. The jet stream will continue to dip southward off the coast this weekend. As it does, moist southerly flow will increase over the inland northwest. Patterns like this have produced thunderstorms over the inland northwest in the past. It is possible that by Sunday and Monday we will be monitoring areas from central Washington to the Idaho Panhandle for scattered thunderstorms. It is important to note that forecasts that are six to seven days out are subject to considerable change, but at this time the pattern wide, including the Cascades. Thunderstorm impacts include the potential for new wildfire ignitions from lightning and the threat for locally heavy rain. Patterns like this have also produced gusty thunderstorm winds and hail in the past. We take the threat for thunderstorms over the Cascades quite seriously. The Wenatchee area has already experienced several episodes of heavy rain this year. This area is prone to flash flooding and the presence of wildfire burn scars heightens the potential for flooding, mudslides, and rock slides. Here are just a couple of pictures from the Wenatchee area from earlier this month. Fortunately, it looks like the potentially stormy pattern for next week, it probably won't last long. By the middle of next week, it looks like the region will be in for a drier weather pattern. Here's the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This is valid from August 27th through September 2nd. Below average chances for precipitation and near to above average temperatures are anticipated during this time period. 
In summary, our concern for thunderstorms will be increasing beginning Thursday for the Idaho Panhandle and far eastern Washington. By the weekend, our thunderstorm concerns will spread over the majority of the inland northwest. By Sunday or Monday, we may be watching the Cascades again for the threat of locally heavy rain. Here's how you can stay informed and get the latest forecast information from the National Weather Service. You can go to our website at weather.gov slash Spokane or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. As always, our forecasts are available 24 hours a day on NOAA Weather Radio. Thank you for tuning in to this special weather briefing.